My name's Andrew Baker, I'm the buying director at um, Virgin Wines. 2021 is going to be a very interesting year for Virgin Wines, not just because we're going to be expanding all of our ranges to include more and more exclusive, unique, bespoke product, but because we take into 2021 an optimism, knowing that we can support all of these small producers and that actually people are really responsive to the, the, the things that they produce. So small scale, small batch, all of those things really resonate and, and they're, they're terrific because they produce really great products, whether it beers, spirits, wines, whatever. You know, we, we, we sell wines which are 200 pounds a bottle, but we want to fill that up with, with just, just um, make it even more vibrant than it is already and bring more small producers, more unique wine to marketplace because now is the time to do that. That's partly support and it's partly because it's just a great thing to do anyway, to, to buy fabulous wine in small quantities, what we all dream of. So 2021 is just, we're, we're very, very optimistic about it. Trends in all of those um, uh, uh, three categories, we take, we take our trends partly from what our customers tell us. That evolution is based on what they tell us. Of course, we're always looking at evolution at, at source as well as well as what people are buying in the wider marketplace. But we're absolutely leaning into the kind of trends like low no trends. We're doing that, you know, because, we, because it's a, there's a genuine demand for that. And I have to say that the, the products across spirits, beers and wine, the improvement in the quality of things is incredible. It's really, it's really fast improvement. I think in terms of hierarchy, I think for me, the spirits sit at the top, the, the, the alcohol-free spirits, they're absolutely brilliant. The gins are brilliant. I even drink them myself. You know, beers are, are getting better and better and better. Wine's slightly behind, but, but because it's, I think it's easier to produce uh, um, spirit that's uh, non-alcoholic. A gin, for example, has loads of um, botanicals in it. That's what, that's what its character is. The alcohol is less of a part of that. Fundamentally, balance in wine, alcohol is a part of that. It's, a, it's about balance. So it, we, we're working with some really skillful winemakers to not only reduce the, the, the amount of alcohol, but to actually work to, to, and produce something that really is similar to wine. Taste, that's flavor profile as everything is similar to wine, but also alcohol-free wine as well and for it to not just be apple juice, otherwise you just drink apple juice, right? So there's some great development. It's really rapid and, and we're on top of that. That's one of our big developments for, for 2021, I think. Aside from the, the, this taking on a plethora of new producers, 